which the good thing with the Newfoundland is there's a lot of saliva there. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. Welcome back to the Introvert Circus. I'm Sassafras. This is Sirius. We have a little bit of a different kind of sit down chat video with you for today because I'm really excited to share with you a really cool project that is happening right now with the University of Wisconsin's Veterinary School Program. We are super excited about this. We learned about it online and it is um, a research study where they are studying Newfoundlands. And so I wanted to share this with you because I know we have a lot of NUFs that follow us, especially on her Instagram, but they're doing a really amazing DNA study. She's gonna be part of the first group of NUFs that are part of it. I know this is male for you. And they are studying uh, cruciate ligament um, ruptures and injuries, which is knee injuries, which if you have been a part of our social media for a while, you probably know that when Sirius, um, can you go over here please? That Sirius uh, has had bilateral TPLO, which is a total reconstruction of both of her knees after cruciate ruptures. Cruciate ruptures are fairly common in Newfoundlands, even in very well-bred Newfoundlands. Uh, her parents had amazing OFA scores, um, fantastic breeder, and yet her knees went out at a very young age, even though she hadn't done anything high impact. And we were very, very careful about monitoring her exercise. And this is not uncommon with Newfoundlands. So the really cool thing is that the researchers, this is all the paperwork for it from the University of Wisconsin, Madison's vet program, they are researching cruciate injuries in Newfoundland, specifically looking to identify DNA markers for it. They've been able to do this with Labradors, and we learned about the study through our National Newfoundland Club, uh, who was sharing out information about it. They're looking for Newfoundlands who have had cruciate injuries, as well as Newfoundlands who are over a certain age who haven't. So if you're a new person, check it out. I'll include the link below to learn more about their study, they have a Facebook group, they post about it. And that's how I heard about it was through the National Newfoundland Club who uh, was sharing out the information looking for Newfoundlands. They were lovely. I reached out to them, uh, asked a couple of questions. If your dog has had cruciate injuries, the uh, way to get involved is very, very simple. All you have to do is provide them access to your dog's uh, the surgeon who did surgical repair of your dog's knee injury, they asked for some questions like their AKC registration number, and then they send this kit, which came in the mail to our PO box, and it has a another release. We already signed a release. There's another release to sign. It has a pretty uh, intense questionnaire with just some, you know, I think it's not intense, but sort of basic questions about your NOOF, asking things like, um, their weight, um, dates of injuries of cruciate injuries, if they're spayed or neutered, um, what else are we asking? Dates of, I guess the dates of surgery, um, if they have any other orthopedic conditions, if they've ever been diagnosed with Cushing's, if they have any um, systemic, a history of systemic steroid therapy, uh, any other non-orthopedic problems like cancer, what kind of food they eat, uh, what brand of food they eat, what kind of supplements they get, uh, and a few different categories, what else does it want? Um, things about their activity level, if they are involved in any, sp any sports or activity, how often they do that, if they, um, on what surface they generally are doing those sorts of sports or activities on, how often they're walked, uh, how far they're walked, any other sort of outdoor active, active time separate from walks and activities, and uh, what sort of surface they're on when they're outside, as well as questions about if they have ever been on any kind of weight management plan, um, and how their veterinarian feels about their weight and condition. Fun fact, she's actually our PT vet, her physical therapist vet, actually keeps a picture of her on her desktop to show um, other people with Newfoundlands what ideal physical condition for Newfs should be. So they sent this survey and then they send instructions for doing the saliva swab. So this is the DNA collection kit. 
super simple. I'm not gonna open it right now because we're not doing it quite yet. We're gonna do it in a little bit, but you can just see it is just, bye series, a um, sterile swab in here. If you've ever done um, any other sort of like this kind of collection, like if you've done your bark test or anything like that, it looks very, very similar to that. And then they sent us a prepaid envelope to send it back to the researchers. So really cool study. It's an amazing um, opportunity to try to learn more about the risk factors around cruciate ligaments injuries for these guys, which is why I'm really excited about it. It's a topic that's super near and dear to me. Um, we did all the right things and she ruptured both her cruciate ligaments talking to her vet. Uh, and surgeon, we went with six, five, five or six different surgeons. I can't remember. There's a, I feel like I've made a video about this. If you want another video, let me know. Uh, we were living in New York at the time. We went with surgeons there. Um, and it was recommended that we, if we could speed up <clears throat> our plan to move cross country to do so, so we wouldn't be rehabbing her when we lived in a townhouse with lots of stairs. So we did that. We um, moved cross country and she had in three weeks notice, put her house on the market and she had surgery with uh, an amazing surgeon here in Oregon three weeks later or two weeks after we got here and uh, had incredible results. We were able to do bilateral TPLO. So she had both of her knees done at the same time uh, and then began imme immediately working with an incredible veterinary physical therapist and the combination of surgery and PT uh, got her back on her feet and she is as good as new. Most people have absolutely no idea. She even has um, these titanium joints in her knee. Actually, funny, funny enough, a friend of ours made, um, had commissioned some art from her last week of her as a bionic dog with her metal knees. I will have to make a video showing you guys that, but I wanted to let you know that this was happening because it's a super, especially for those of us who have noofs, who have cruciate injuries, uh, histories of cruciate injuries is an amazing way for us to help these veterinary researchers try to learn more about it. Again, they have been successful in creating a DNA um, test for cruciate injuries with labs that responsible breeders can then utilize as part of their testing before making the decision to breed. If we could have that in Newfoundlands, that would be absolutely incredible. Obviously, I wouldn't trade my girl for the world, but I would love breeders to be able to know moving forward if there were ways that we could genetically prevent um, likelihood of these cruciate injuries from happening. So um, now we're gonna do this. I'm gonna come back when we're doing the swab so that you can see what that process looks like. And again, the information all about the study is in the description box below. Um, they didn't ask me to make a video. I just wanted to make a video because I know we do have a lot of Newfoundland followers. Um, and I thought you guys would be interested in like what it looked like behind the scenes of getting the testing kit and doing the process. It looks very, very simple. It has super detailed instructions to help walk us through what we need to do. Okay, we're back. So we're gonna do the collection now. I have the instructions, I read the instructions, I have all this stuff here. It looks like it's gonna be super easy to do. Uh, all I need to do is to take the swab out. I know, put it in her mouth, right on her gums, rub it in her gums for 30 seconds, um, and then take it back out, put it in the collection tube. So. We're gonna do that right now. So here is the swab. It's not supposed to touch anything other than her mouth. I know. Okay, on his mouth. Pull away from teeth and sponge, lower cheek pouch. It needs to get wet, which the good thing with the Newfoundland is there's a lot of saliva there. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Oh, no. No, we've got all the salivas. Good girl. You're a very good girl. Yeah. so wet. <laughs> okay, so that is at 30 seconds. We have a very, Alexa, stop the timer. Very wet sample. So now what I need to do is just untwist this without touching the sponge. Put it in 
to the tube, screw it on super tightly, and then it says you need to vigorously shake it 10 times. Right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Isn't that cool? That's your salon. I know. So cool. I'm really excited because, again, you know, we completely lucked out. You know, she had um, both of her knees rebuilt, but, you know, after cruciate ruptures, and you would never know it now. She was able to return to all the sports and activities that she loves, and we were so, so lucky. But that isn't the case for every dog who has a cruciate injury like this and not everybody has access to the same level of surgical care and rehab care that we had access to for her. And so, you know, if there's a way we can be part of this research to help um, understand the risk of cruciate injuries better for NOOFs, then obviously we want to be part of that. Yeah, isn't that right, my girl? So now we just have to put her name and my name on the test tube and then we put it in this envelope and we send it back to Wisconsin. Yeah, isn't that cool? So I, again, will put all the information about the study in the description box if you have a Newfoundland or if you are just curious about the really cool research that they're doing looking at genetic health testing for a variety of purebred dogs and conditions. It's really, really cool. Um, obviously, the cruciate injury uh, for Newfoundland is something that is near and dear to our heart and our experience. So we're so excited to be part of it. When I saw it, I immediately emailed them and was thrilled that um, our experience could be helpful for them. So we're excited to be part of the study. I'm really excited to follow it and learn more about it. I will keep you updated. I don't know if we're going to continue to know anything um, about what they discover or what that process is but if i learn things i will be sure to share them with you let me know in the comments if your dog has ever been part of any kind of um health study like this i'd love to know i think we are ready to get this all packaged up to send back we've got our dna sample here labeled with sirius's name and my last name we've got the release form all signed Back here, I've got the questionnaire all filled out about her medical history. I've got the prepaid envelope they sent us. And of course, I have our cute stickers because I always put those on Happy Mail. So we're going to seal the envelope with that. But it is now ready to send back to the University of Wisconsin researchers. I'm super excited about it. And we shall see what they learn about Newfoundland's and cruciate injuries. And hopefully we can be a little bit helpful.